What's up gamers, Farrells here. This video is going to teach you how to call plays in Madden 19. We're going to start at the beginner level, but we're going to get into some more advanced meta style plays. So if you're new to the game or you don't know exactly what plays to call, you just don't have a playbook that you really, really like, this will help you with some scenarios. We're in the Patriots offensive playbook and I think it's a good place to start. So number one tip is never, ever, ever call a play that Madden recommends. When you get into a game above the formation, it'll recommend bunch of plays never call those plays you want to call play by formation you always want to go and pick the formation you want now it can be tough because you might get to a play and it's like okay do i stick with what's working do i go change something different and that's where i'm going to tell you to always start with a base play now there's a couple base formations in the game these are formations that are good enough where you can run a couple plays out of them and 80 percent of the time you're going to have success Gun split close is one of these formations. It's in the Patriots book. It's in a couple others. But if you don't want to run gun split close, you still need that one <clears throat> base play depending what formation you're in. So last year, some people ran it from tight slots because they had a run play, a pass play, and you could mix it up. Some people ran it from deuce close, which is in a lot of playbooks, and they ran plays like halfback angle, the pass play, the wham, and the stretch. Pretty much a good base formation needs a good run play, pretty much a run play that's inside and outside, and it needs a pass play with a deep post, and it needs uh, the ability to put some drags across the middle. So, and, and a real nice half back to the flat pattern. So if your formation has those, then you're good. Now the reason I like gun split close is because to play half back wheel allows you to have that base play. It allows you to come out, consistently feel good about the defense, it allows you to get a read on the defense. Where are the corners? That's the four guys you want to look at on the outside. One, two, three, four. You want to find where those guys are. Think about what they might be. And now this Rex Burkhead route is my base route. It's my, if you don't take this away from me, if you don't man a guy up, if you don't do this or that, I'm going to hit this for 10 yards every single time. It's the easiest way to play the game. It's the most consistent. You can easily be shut down. Easily a good player who knows to call a hard flat I mean or they user it but you come out in that and you make your opponent think about that every single time and that's why this is our base play now from here the reason this play is also very good is you have a corner route that will get open if the usually when once they take the flat away you then have that corner route that gets open because the corner goes down and plays that so then you can get big chunks so it's kind of like you, th you just throw that Burkhead route till they're like, enough. And then when they finally take away the Burkhead, you throw the Gronk. And then they're like, man, I got to take away the Gronk. And once they do that, you want to throw the backbreaker. The route that you need to get big yards on is the post. Um, and then another way you can make this even more effective is just a little halfback route to white. So some different um, hot routes are very important. You can't hot route the Edelman route. You can't hot route the Burkhead route and so that's why it's a good play because you want to come out in a play where you can't actually hot route anything so same thing that little out right there it's not quite as quick not quite as good but that's good because you actually get different timing and it changes the way uh, you can attack and then they have to cover both flats and that's why this play is so difficult to defend so that's why it's a good base play but it doesn't have to be your main formation but it is what a lot of people run online and it does take a little bit of ability to stop it. Well, Farrells, I crush people that run that play over and over. Yeah, you do, but it's still pretty pretty annoying to stop. Um, so that is why I recommend that. And then, as, a, as far as the base formation goes, you know, you get plays that are built off the back of that. So, right, so they call that play over and over, and now all of a sudden you're putting your defense... You know all of it all the action on that play goes to the right side of the field right but now all of a sudden you got Gronk and Hogan the other way and so now you're attacking a whole different part um, of the field you could you want to run a route over towards there to keep that guy occupied but once you do that then you throw the you know you mix this play in because you can't run one play and have success for a full game uh, it was a little bit better window but there's a, there's a lot so you can't run one play or even one formation all game and have success. But for beginner players and even average players, you want to run five plays 
90% of the time because you want to get really good at running those five plays. You're not an NFL offense. You don't have practice. You don't have a 70-page playbook. You don't practice your reads against different coverages because you just want to play the game. You don't want to go to practice mode and sit here and go, what does it do against Tampa 2? What does it do against cover 3? What does it do against cover 4? That's really what you should do, but that's not what you you have been doing, and it's one of the reasons you're not having a lot of success. So if you at least run gun split close, you'll have pretty good success. Now, that's for your base play and what you really want to do. From there, you do want to figure out, if my opponent's calling man, what do I do? Well, you can call drags, call corner routes, go to the uh, halfback in the backfield if they're blitzing, and you want to get a bunch of little plays that beat man-to-man -man coverage. There's certain routes that will beat man, like that post on halfback wheel, like the corner on halfback wheel, uh, like the flat on halfback wheel. Those are going to beat man. There are routes that will almost never beat man. Um, and the computer runs them quite a bit, like a slant across the middle, or um, a wheel route by the halfback doesn't really beat man. Um, in routes don't generally like toast man. Pearls will never beat man. So there, there's a lot of plays that don't beat man, so you don't want to run those routes. You want to know where to go find things in your playbook uh, when it is time. From there, you have your base play. Then you want to get a big corner route Eater. So, like I said, I only call plays by formation, but every now and then, if I'm in a weird playbook, what I do is I go to concept, and I look for concepts. And this is the, the, the core of this video. This is why this video will, will work for anybody, any playbook, anytime. It's because when you have, you want to go find flood concepts uh, from, from here, and you'll find deep corner routes out of this set. So you'll find your deep shot style plays, um, which will help you get open and beat certain coverages. Play like posts, a play. Um, the flood play is good, but you don't really want that. You want a, more of a corner where the red route on the play flood is. Um, but you'll, you'll find those things in Gun Bunch in different areas. you also find it in uh, Smash, which is a, a different concept. So you can always go look for the smash concept, which uh, you will find in playbooks. So those are some things to keep in mind. Now, what else do I like to do? Well, then play calling, once you have your play you always come down to, it evolves as the game goes on. So that's the first quarter, you're gonna be able to run that, but then you're not gonna be able to run that once they adapt. So all of a sudden then you need some red zone plays. You need some third and one plays. You need some third and 15 plays. You need some they're blitzing me plays, and I can't stop it. So that is where good play calling and situational football come into play. How do you manage the game? How do you manage the game of Madden in football? Um, so my gun bunch is a great base formation. The, pa the Pats one specifically with play like Pats curl flat is a deep corner. Um, I don't like gun bunch, though, because it's too complicated. There's too much going on. There's too many hot routes. There's too many setups. You're going to fail if you try and run this as your base set and you are not very, very good at the game. So don't run Gun Bunch as your base set until you get very good. Um, run something easier like a Trips or like a, a Split Close or a Snugs or a Slot Offset. You're going to have more success. Um, then you need to find, so then you need to find a run play, right? So I've just been running, I don't even know if this run is good or, good or bad or terrible. I run I-Form Slot Halfback Blast because I like it. Uh, and then I run I form pro quick toss or HP toss, and I and that's it. I, I just I like those runs; they work for me. They're better than stretch this year. Call different runs, try different formations, uh, get those run plays down. So you have your run plays. You know what works in short yardage. You know if they're trying to plug the middle, you can you can uh, mix in a toss. You got to know where to find a toss. You got to know where to find a fullback dive. Um, okay, I'm gonna give you my five other little tips here about what other plays you need, where to find them, and what to do. Number one, you need to play with built-in outs. So bench out of this playbook. I use this anytime I need to get like 10, 12, 14 yards. Um, you can hot route those for sure, but they take a long time to hot route. You find a play that has them built in, you never look back. So that's like a that's one first down per game. Um, and then you need to fall, you need to go to a concept, find a screen pass, you need to find a bubble screen or a wide receiver screen. Now the one here 
that only has one blocker is bad. You need to find one like Pat Slot Screen that has three blockers. Uh, two blockers. Two blockers and three guys on a side. Not all playbooks have a PA bubble wide look or a Pat Slot Screen. That's why I like the Pats. Anytime they're blitzing or anytime they're in zone and there's only two guys over there, you can throw that. So that's like another free first down. First, third, and seven of the game, do that. Second, third, and seven of the game, run the I form. Um, the outs. Um, that's huge. The Pats used to have a play out of this. That Pats X slant used to be a slant out on the right, and that was free 12 yards one time. Um, in, in the worse your opponent is, the more you can run a ga like a, a, a gadget play, a one-time play from a formation and have success. Um, another thing. Angle right out of the backfield. That's good. That's good like twice a game. Um, find it in different formations. Uh, a slip screen. At the level you guys are going to be playing at, it, it's worth it. It's good. And then the last thing you need is like a deep post. So um, the Pats Y out is good, but it's not a true deep post. You want something that's a little bit deeper, um, which will be good to help you uh, go downfield. Now, Bunch Trail has one. But just not in this book, but that backside is, is usually pretty good. But that's how people get uh, get guys open deep downfield. Kind of like a play like Pat's Y in this post uh, to Hogan. If I had a little more room downfield, and you also maybe want it from the slot. You kind of want it to like cross the middle of the field. He's kind of too far outside. But uh, the, the deeper you get, you want more room on the field. That type of post is something that works. So you want to find that deep post, the bubble screen, standard outs, a formation where you can run inside, run outside, a base play. If you have all those things in one playbook, you will have success. The Patriots doesn't have, it's not the best. It's not the be all and all playbook. I think I'm going to get out of it. But it has all those little things that I need right now to have success early in the game. Get into situational play calls. Never call what it recommends. Always just keep going back to what's working, 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 working. Flat, 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 flat corner, flat, flat, flat corner, flat, flat corner, middle of the field. Like, that's how you got to start thinking about it. I hope this video makes sense. It might have got a little strange, but it's not so much about each individual play, which I can go through playbooks and just pick out plays. But it is the reason I have some success in draft, in mutt draft, because even though I get certain playbooks, I go, eh, I can operate out of this set. And uh, I'll find a gadget play here and a gadget play there. It's not a great way to live. Once we get into offense 2.0, where we get into a base set like a bunch and we're actually talented and we've made reads and we know what the defense does, that's a way better way to live. But for now, as you're getting your feet under you, you start to figure out what's good. And uh, that's how you have to operate because it's too hard to operate otherwise, pretending like you can play for real. But you can't when you haven't practiced, sat down, mastered it. So hopefully this video helps. If it does, leave a like like the format, let me know. And until next time, guys, stay hungry, lock up, and we'll talk soon.